It is, but they're going to come from the monitor and not my headset? There we go. Yeah, so this setup is a little bit more convenient for me personally. But it also makes the USB or the HDMI cord a real bitch to work with here, but... Alright, we're good to go. Sorry for the wait, everybody. So it looks like we picked Seaside Kingdom. We gotta stop that big... Big octopus thing. By the way, how is the game audio compared to me? Are we- am I too quiet? Am I too loud? Or are we, are we a good balance? Oh, Move by chair. You're good? Oh, thank god. Alright, so we... have got to stop that big, uh... big squid. And the only way to do that is by knocking it off that big thing. And I think there's a specific method. Oh gee, there's a lot of seeds here. This kingdom grew on you over time? It's a nice kingdom. The aesthetic is really good. I just like the squid capture a lot. That's fair. That's a really good capture, to be honest. Oh, yo, the puzzle! Okay, I thought maybe I could bounce on that. I don't know why. There's a spike on it. Like, it's open world. Ah, oh, so you finished your replay of the game. How satisfied were you by the end of that? Would you say? Oh, the movement. I'm at home. Nice. Big dumb grin on my face the whole time? Yeah, that's fair. That's just the kind of game this is. Hey, we can just leave now. like a game, you remember lots of stuff about it. Oh yeah, we can't really get up there. We need we need a certain capture for that. Or do we? This kingdom is just nice to chill in, I've gotta say. Music is really relaxing. I really dig these pirate Goombas. Beautiful Joe blindfolded sounds fun though. If you do do that, do let me know.
Also, wow, this kingdom is bigger than I remember it being. I did coins and everything, huh? Although a lot of it is underwater level. Oh, yo, the music. This is music of some danger. Yeah, it's like not big, but it's big enough. I definitely feel that one. Alright, we got it. Jeez. Just this big ass octopus. What a loser. Now I think we could do the Goomba stack mission here. I'd be down to give it a shot. At the first. Oh, Gooper Blooper? I can see it, to be honest. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, never mind. Not quite so slick. Yeah! I like the color of the moons in this kingdom, too. I mean, it's, it's purple, so obviously it's good. Yeah, I'm probably going to do Mario Odyssey for a couple hours, and then move on to Chrono Trigger. I was going to stream way earlier today, but I wanted to have dinner first and get all that out of the way. Ensure that I'm in a really good mood. Put myself in high spirits. Oh, here they are! One of my favorite captures in the game. I really love the gushing. Well, that's what I gotta do, I gotta... Yo, what's up, Polar Bear? Ooh, we got him. The hot spring seal. Not much. Not 
They were just pissing off a big jerk. Yeah, the amount of, like, different control schemes and or options in this game, there's a lot. New mic I have coming in? Ooh, that's exciting. You're upgrading your equipment finally. That's good to hear. Big fighting game streamer. Polar Bear. Alright, so... Minor problem with the scenario I'm in? Oh, we're good. We are good! I was like, I'm gonna run out of air, aren't I? There we go, we're good now. Wait, partner? You got like, you mean Twitch affiliate or do you mean like you actually got like Twitch partnership? No, I'm joking. Oh, rip. I was gonna say, that would be super sick. Yeah, getting consistent viewers is the hard part. Although I am very, 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 very thankful I've got, like, at least ten people that regularly show up. Everyone that sticks around and hangs out here, I'm really thankful y'all do. Makes me happy. That big moment... Oh, I don't know where I was going with that. I had words in mind and then I just didn't bother. Okay, so... Look at that shit! A lot of the moons and stuff in this kingdom is like underwater. It's actually pretty nice. It's kind of swim around and vibe. I don't totally get why cheap chiefs. Listen. Why are the shells flashlights in Mario Galaxy? You wouldn't expect such an apparatus, would you? So maybe it's best left a mystery. Well, someone lives in it? I mean, do, do cheap cheeps not count as living things? They live in their own skin. Still not understood, but why are you here? Literally, why? Seriously? The Sphinx is just... He's just here. Yup! I just... I have property. He owns property here. Can I... Can I do more riddles? Is it like the Desert Kingdom where he's like, Oh, I have more. Four.
Oh, it wasn't the swimsuit? It's a resort, right? Yeah. He's here to ask questions! I don't know why he's surprised that I know such a thing. I love the Sphinx in this game though. Oh! Nice, we have enough moons to leave if we wanted to, but obviously. You the Sphinx plays set play characters it gets bad? We probably. How did you guess right? You're just a guesser. I mean, isn't that what anybody says when their mix-up gets blocked? And they feel cheated? Oh, hey. I love the sounds Dory makes, though. Hold on. Can we hear it? Like squeaking. It's adorable. Friend. Hey. What's this? Oh, what? Yeah, they thought about it. They're like, yeah, you know what? In case you still don't have a cheap, cheap transformation, here's a way for you to stay alive. All right. So I think I've explored enough. Let's go get those other two fountains. There's a chest over there, though. Probably a moon in that. I'm willing to bet. Oh no. Oh, I gotta find me a gushing. Over there. Ow. You know what this is? And we, we were talking about sunshine earlier, but this is just the turbo nozzle, isn't it? This is just straight up the turbo nozzle with like an up function. Ow. It's like having the hover and turbo nozzle in one. Which, as it turns out, is pretty novel, huh? Mm. It's really great when you have all those options together. Isn't it? It's like having options is a good thing. Don't let me say that, though. <laughs> to be honest, they should have given you all three nozzles at once. Or, like, maybe two nozzles together. And then the spray. The turbo nozzle wasn't really useful for much, if I had to be honest. Like, they didn't do enough with that to really justify it being there in the first place, but... Or at least it didn't feel like it did a lot. Maybe it, it, maybe I would have used it more if I could use it with another one in conjunction. Oh my god. 
Because that does feel pertinent to mention. Oh yeah, these things can run out of water, by the way. Oh, another thing like sunshine, huh? Damn, that's kind of fucked up. Alright, I think this is the gushing puzzle level, yeah. a lot going on like Mario Sunshine. How's Mario Legends so far? Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. If I say so myself. But I mean this is an absolutely fantastic Mario game so... Probably shouldn't surprise anyone that I'm having a ball. So we've only got one fountain left, and then we got the boss fight, which I'm going to do. And then we're going to properly explore this kingdom. Dunk. I like that the builder hat makes like a tink when you bounce on it. I think that's a nice touch. They didn't have to do that, but they did. And then when I started this, I was like, where's Chrono Trigger? And I still want to play it again, but I'm getting into it again now. The, the Odyssey vibes. You gotta, you gotta start the game for a bit, move around, have a good time. Once you get that going, though, you're, you're ready to roll. Uh, let's see. To enter the lighthouse, you must go a bit farther ahead. Huh. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do more exploring of the level when I'm, uh... More able to, rather. Once this boss is out of the picture. Did I climb up through here, or what? There's a hole you dive into. Oh! It's like underwater. Oh, I see. We gotta go swimming. Although I guess it makes a lot of sense. 
given where we are, that we would go swimmy. I feel like an asshole. Where, where the fuck? Oh wait, what? What is this? Oh, that's coins. Oh wait, it's like. Around over here? Where the lady snail is at. Well, there's a cap area. This is impossible, but also probably just my lack of direction. It's on the map. Oh, motherfucker, it's that stupid thing, really? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait, I should probably be a cheap cheap, huh? Only a fish could make it all the way. True. Uh. Says him. I don't want to test what he's saying. I'm sure the Mario Odyssey speedrunners could. I am not a Mario Odyssey speedrunner though, so... Oh, that makes sense. Oh wait, I think I remember this part. Ah! Yeah, now I remember. Ugh. You've gotta have the horrifying eels. You really just have to. Is it a 3D Mario game without that? 
There's gotta be a moon in this cave, right? Eels and Mario have a checkered history? Yeah, it's fucked up, right? Mario and horrifying eels is just like... an expectation. Alright, we're about to- we're about to fuck this boss up. I'm not a super big fan of this boss fight, cause like... It's pretty cool looking, but mechanically it's not really much. But we're about to... Cap it off anyways. <laughs> He's had it. I do like that it takes place just in the, in the kingdom though. There's a seed. Are we shooting drills now? Better watch out! We got it! And finally they can make LaCroix. Because <laughs> it is sparkling water. Although apparently it tastes very good. How much of that is true is up to this game, but... We got it. And now... Let that Terry let's go. Well, now the kingdom's easier to explore. Uh, we're gonna actually do that now. I think the Snow Kingdom is pretty damn small, so... There's 
There's a seed somewhere around here. God, there's the volleyball one. That's what everybody remembers. Oh! I feel like that was right on time. That was like literally by the fucking last possible second. There are pipes over there. Those are like weird 8-bit pipes too, what the fuck? Oh, that's really cool. This is neat. Pretty involved 2D platformer, Moon, I see. Oh. Nice. This is so cool. Wanna play Mario on the seafloor, right? Let's see, whose answer to that would be no? Like, fuck yeah! If given the choice, I absolutely would. Oh, look, see, because I solved the puzzle, I could get that. Look at that! We did it! Yes! Yeah, there's like a hat area over there that I didn't do. Because I was focused on, uh... Beating the boss. Check it out.
Uh, you can buy everything at the Crazy Cat. Because the cumulative price of every souvenir and, like, sticker and thing is how many purple coins are in a kingdom. So, like, there are kingdoms that have two costumes and, like, the stickers and the decals that you can buy, and they all populate the Odyssey. So you basically get, like, a little vacation catalog in your ship. Yeah, if you want the, uh... I haven't bought any of it. It does look really nice when it is there. But my priority is always the costumes, because those are way more fun. Like, I, lo I love Dress Up Mario. Being able to dress Mario up seems like a really small feature. But since there's so many costumes, it's really fun. <laughs> it's, uh... It's more enjoyable than it should be. I don't know how many moons are in this kingdom, though. Oh, only, only 52. 64 Mario is really good. I'm really glad that they rigged that model specifically like that. What? Oh shit, I'm sorry. Uh, we can get up there, right? Yo. It's hanging out. Oh, it was hanging out. Oh yeah, Samurai Mario is really strong too. Oh, so tell of you? There's just so many. That's the problem. There's too many. I get like... I have a hard time picking. Hey, here we go. I think I can make it up there if I do, like, a really high jump. Maybe not. Oh wait, I have an idea. Oh yeah, the DLC costumes for this game are kinda wild. Like, the literal zombie Mario with, like, an axe in his head shit. That's like just... That's really strangely morbid for a Mario game. Oh, fuck. Close. Wait, there's a ledge up there. Oh. Oh. Okay, so while there's obviously stuff over here, like that seed... Hey, Captain Toad. Getting all the fucking way up here. Well done. gonna jump? No, he, he would never. Captain Toad is too happy to do such things. Is 
Did that Goomba just job to a seed? My dude really got hit by a seed and was like, that's it. I'm out. I can't take it, it's a seed! T-Rex, yeah, that shit blew my mind. I could not believe it when you told me that. I thought you were kidding, to be honest. Be completely straight with you, I, was, I thought you were fucking with me. But then I did it. And I was like, what the hell? This entire time. There's been an easy way to deal with this. Oh, it's this again. Feeling rumbles. Is that it? Oh, I think that's it. 4K rumble? Yeah, that's a good question. What kind of rumble is the upcoming next Nintendo console gonna have. That is well and truly a damn good question, to be honest. That's one I don't know the answer to. Pretty honestly. Could not tell you. What the fucking answer to that is. Hold up, though. The Bat Canyon? There's more stuff over here. Yeah, I've learned that every large console manufacturer ever is just- their- the basic goal is to sell a really expensive controller when it comes to new shit. So they just put a bunch of shit that, like, people will get excited about, almost never utilize, and then they charge, like, the price of a game for a damn controller. Kame Ray! Oh my god. Hi! Oh, right! The Cross Justice League tournament just finished. How's it how's it going? Thank you for the raid. What's what's good Omega Black? How you doing? You holding up? The new champ is an old old Oh! Mopped everyone. Oh who was it? Who the hell did that? They're new too? That's interesting. Fibonacci? <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at that name. That is- that name just makes me laugh. Are they Italian? I don't know. Fibonacci? There? Okay, I was gonna say, like... Fibonacci is a really funny sounding name. But, uh, wow, yeah. Well, that character is really good, so I can't say I'm, I'm shocked. Oh, the it Italians and their own. Eh, you know. 
what the state of it the country of Italy is most known for is uh Omega Shredder. That second, I figured. Magic Carpino third, that one's a bit shocking. Well, I'm glad did it go well on the AWS server? I know paper space behaved before you streamed last time. Did this one just go no hitch? Without a hitch, right? I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and see. I used AWS both times. I'm gonna assume it worked out that- ah, fuck! I'm gonna have to assume it worked out. No frame drops, nothing crap, right? Went off without a hitch? Great, great, great. AWS seems so much better. Having played on it now, I can definitely see why the Marvel players are using that shit. I don't know what happened to Paper Space, to be honest. I definitely feel like they changed servers or something. Something happened, because it was, it was at one point well above acceptable, and then it was like, no. Absolutely not, right? Like... <laughs> the world may never know. Oh, it's up there. Yeah, I mean, AWS is also like Amazon, so... I can't even say Jeff Bezos money anymore. Who's the new CEO? We got a name yet? Me? Fuck, I wish, dude. Gotta know who to rub. Well, to be honest, you could still hit Bezos. Conspiring against Jeff Bezos probably wouldn't look too bad, all things considered. But you know, I can't say Bezos bucks anymore. It wouldn't even be right because he's not the CEO. Right now. Like I gotta stay on top, you know. Yeah, no, I'm really glad the tournament went well. That that brings me a lot of joy. Uh, next month's is gonna be the one I enter again. That'd be in what? May. The May tournament. So that should be an interesting one. Because I said I'd enter every other month. So I gotta hold true to my word on that. I'll probably have a secondary character by then, so... Look forward to that. But, uh... I don't know who that'd be. The only thing is, I'd have a secondary character for Wingnut, but I don't even know if Hudat's gonna enter the next one, either. So... That's, uh, that's all I got on the matter. Because I don't want to play Superman Wingnut. At least not, not in Vanilla. In Turbo, probably? But in Vanilla, nah. That matchup's probably doable, it's just not good for the heart rate. Superman definitely does fine, but I just want better anti airs. Because <laughs> if you don't have a really good one against Wingnut, you have a harder time. 
Which isn't bad, it's just by design, right? So you gotta you gotta have a character that that's got that on deck. So I'm thinking of Leonardo or uh Probably would be Leo to be honest. I can't think of any other character that I'd wanna play. Hello, J. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just not gonna say that name. I, I, I would probably fuck it up. That is, I am almost certain. With how like vaguely tired I am, and the kind of day it has been, I know I would fuck that up. J. Ray, we'll go with that. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome to the stream. All we got is good vibes and, uh, cheap cheeps. For now, anyways. And so we go to the Snow Kingdom. I'm kinda just combing around for shit. As it were. Getting the kingdom money. Cause I'm definitely far from the... The full set of moons in this kingdom for sure. Wow, that's a terrible secret. Ground pound the floor and just summon a bunch of enemies? Did you finish it? Uh, I've beaten it before, yeah. No such thing as a spoiler for me about this game. There's a good chance if I'm streaming a 3D Mario game that's any older than a year old, if that, I've probably beaten it. At least once in my life. Solid odds, I'd say. You know what, let's just, uh... Let's get the costume, do a couple more moons that I know about, and... Bump out, I guess. We gotta get dressed up for vacation. Mario just killed Bowser? Yeah, that shit was violent. Unbelievably violent for... For a... For a small child's game. Also, thank you for the follow, J.R. My alerts... My alerts misbehave whenever I stream on a capture card, so... Apologies if there was no, like, alert sounds. It's because they don't like behaving. On my my capture card setup, so I, I I'll have to make some concessions for that down the line. To be honest, once I can get that second monitor, I'm be so fucking ready. Might be this year, where I finally get me a second monitor because I have the space on my desk now. I would really enhance my streams. Even though I would almost exclusively use the second monitor for, like, stream shit. I say that, and then I'd probably end up using it all the time, but, you know. We should definitely get the volleyball one. That moon is comedy. For someone it is, anyways. Comedy for the people watching the person trying to get it. Yeah, that's probably what I would do, too. Like, I would just have my game footage go onto the second monitor. Oh, yeah, let's go! Show me what's up, Mario.
な。Yes. My second monitor would probably like I would get a new monitor for my primary display, and then my second one would probably be the one I have currently. I would just move that to the side and use it, and I would get my fancier monitor for like playing games on it and shit. Oh boy, here we go. This shit. Oh god. Gotta pay attention. I'm not gonna look at the stream chat right now, because I have to... Be careful. Oh my god. Oh. I don't even know when you get one one moon for this. I think it's like a fifteen. Yeah, okay. Fuck. Oh, it's like a hundred or something. I'm not doing that. I don't have the patience to do that. If I could just start it at max speed and keep going, I would, but... Can I speed up how they grow with, uh... I don't think so. Wow, I love wind jammers. Me too. Wind jammers is one of the the best games ever, which is why we've got to have it in Mario Odyssey, but not as good.
Come on. Looks like I do have to water it. Oh, it wasn't letting me grab it. That again. There we go. Yay! Alright, well that's 30 moons, because that other seed is going to take a while to grow. So as far as I'm concerned, that's about 30. And then there's the one from the shop we can get, so let's go get that. And then we'll move on to Snow Kingdom. These, like, snail people make really strange sounds. Cool. We gotta dress up. We gotta get snazzy. Pirate Mario is really good, but... Time to do what anyone would do. And let's go swimming in their new suit. I truly think if your first thought when you get a new suit is not to just go swimming, But you're just not doing it correctly. <laughs> oh shit. Clutch. Now, if that was Mario Sunshine, well, we all know. I would have died, and also, that wouldn't have counted. There's another secret room. Remember when I was like, yeah, I'm gonna stop at the 30 moons. I'm pretty satisfied. I just keep seeing shit. Alright, this this is it. Oh hey. Wow, this is just here? This 
got this guy again. Which, listen, I'm perfectly okay with, to be honest. Ow, ooh, you coy little bastards. I love the sounds this thing makes. This fucking weird stretch onion. Baby. Yeah, this kingdom's pretty nice. I would say. I, I, I like it quite a bit. It's definitely got the biggest vacation vibe of all of them, though. I can't find the last seed on my way back. If I remember right, that seed was like... Somewhere up over this way? Also, I think I know where the last purple coins are. I saw like a crack in the wall up over here. There's a moon just hanging out up there. Okay. What in the world? Over there? Ah! Okay, but wouldn't that be a sick trick jump if I could get that? Right, we got it. Oh, that gushing's not there anymore. All right, now that that big one with the chest up over there, we got to get up there somehow. There's probably some, like, legitimate way to do that. But, like, all I can think of... ...is the incorrect way. And 
Never mind. Oh, unless it's like... There's that. Hmm. I'm sorry, that's piquing my curiosity. I've got to know. How do they want me to get up there? Yoshi is up there? Oh yeah! After I get 120 moons. Collecting a moon fills up your water. Shoot! How the fuck do I get up there? Wait a minute. Wait, no. Is there a way up there view, you, or is that like a painting area? That might be a painting area, to be honest. The more I think about it. You might get there through a painting. I think the amount it is- oh no. Puzzle! Mario 64! Big brain! We truly got it all! How could this game reference Mario 64? That is so whack. You're right. Whack as shit ever. They would never reference that game. Nintendo's so ashamed of Mario 64. I think that is actually the same pattern. I remember that being a pattern. What am I doing? There's nothing up there. Hey, View, do you remember where that last seed was? I might go get it. In the water, you said? Is it like deep underwater or is this hanging out? It's probably just hanging out over here. I'll go find it. Probably isn't too hard to find. Underwater toward the east side of the area. I feel like I've been- I feel like I got that one already. Yeah, there was like a seat- well, no, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. Hold up. Oh, you said east. It'd be like... 
here, right? Yeah. Oh, there's some kingdom coins. Uh. Well, it's definitely not here. Well, if it's just somewhere at the east area, underwater, I could probably find it. If I didn't get it already. I'm gonna give it a minute, and if I can't, I'm just gonna move on. Because there's nothing I can't do later. Ow. I keep forgetting that the coral is like occasionally an enemy. Like every now and then there's some evil coral. Just to keep you on your toes. Game's gotta keep you awake. Oh. Well. <laughs> there's also that. Shit, it's a shortcut! <laughs> like, fuck! He wasn't supposed to find that! Definitely looking, I'm not seeing it. But I'm also at 37 moons now. Which honestly is a lot more than I expected to get on my first yield run through. In this playthrough anyways. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. So, uh... We're gonna see if Takatu tells me where it's at, and if not, then I'm just gonna... Dip. Because we're, we're at a pretty good moon total. For this kingdom, I'd say. Daka 2. Timer challenge 1. Okay. Bubbly Northern Reaches. Ride the jet stream. Alright. Northern reaches, huh? Yeah, I'm just gonna dip. Hmm. 
That's a pretty good moon total. Nice. Let's do it, Snow Kingdom time! Long jump, huh, Cappy? Yeah, Cappy, the long jump is pretty useful. Could you imagine if they got rid of that for a 3D Mario game? That'd be just nuts, right? Who would, would never, inconceivable that they would ever get rid of the long jump. Just ever. Never. Hey, I didn't say sunshine. It just, it just never. It, they would never do such a thing. They would never make such a mistake. This kingdom looks damn cool, like this, by the way. But uh, I don't think you can do much here with the weather. I think like the game just says. Happy, you're on my fucking head. How do you know? Yes, I do, Cappy. See those jingle bells? I hear them. I mean, this kind of weather is like, I would just cancel my plans to do just about anything. Mario's pretty chilly. Alright, well we've successfully gone backwards. Alright, let's just go where we need to go. Time for the friends. I, I, I love these things. Look at them. I just really like them, alright? I think this is my favorite NPC in the game. They are. I think they're like seals, right? Oh yeah, we can't even do the races. They're just little happy seals. How is that for a puzzle?
That's the intended solution. Oh. Now, I know it looks like there's... Oh! Remember, I didn't even try capturing those guys until the end of the section? Oh, God. That had to have felt interesting. I don't remember how to get to those coins. I am simply too good. Right, it's not like, it's just like, oh wait. Mario can just yeet himself really high. Also, they want you to because... That's a secret! Uh, let's see. How the fuck? What do they want me to do there? Oh wait, I think I see. Oh yeah, I see. That one's not in solitary confinement like the other one. He lives a free life. The other cloud people are really jealous of him. Nice. Woo, we did it. <laughs> I love how they talk. Alright, I think... Oh, shit. Okay, this one's the wind puzzle area. is particularly interesting because the structure is so weird compared to every other kingdom I feel. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, did you get that? You follow what he said? Okay, I think if you jump on top of him here, he exits this phase. Which is really hard. I don't know what the fuck he said. Oh, come on, view, don't you understand it? Yo! That was a fucking shot! Looks like I should have watched the speed run. <laughs> and he's dead for the rest of the game now. He's gone. That's the last time we see him. Well, for most of it. Until the very, very end of Bowser's Kingdom, we're not going to see him for... for a bit.
Yo, yeah, what's good, Rui? How you doing? Oh, pfft. Oh, this is a cool puzzle. I'm doing good, I don't remember this level. Yeah, this is the Snow Kingdom. Maybe you sealed it away like a dark secret. Perhaps you had a negative experience in the Snow Kingdom, I don't know. Oh, you just forgot. One or the other. <laughs> I don't know how you... I don't know how you can forget this level has the best... the best NPC characters in the game. The, the friends. Look at him. Little blobby dude. This is the, the friend shaped level. Alright, what's the gimmick here? Maybe I skipped this kingdom by accident. You might have you might have gone through it really quickly. At the four Goomba switch. Oh, got him! Oh, the Goomba footstep noise is really good. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish the Snow Kingdom and then call it, because then we'll have Luncheon and then just a couple more left. Luncheon and Bowser's Kingdom. Luncheon is a weird one. I remember not being super big on it when I first played, but you know, maybe? Now that time has gone on, I've had time to really ruminate on it. Maybe I'd like it more. Oh, thank you for the tier 1 sub. My alerts are completely bunk for whatever reason. When I, uh... <laughs> when I stream with my capture card, I don't know why. Part of why I need another monitor is what I'm saying. But uh, thank you for the tier 1 subscription. Enjoy that funny Silver Surfer emote. I appreciate the support. And you get a really funny sub badge. That's the real secret. The, subscri the, the subscriber emote is a damn good emote. But the sub badge is where it's at. Uh, the longer you're subbed, the different characters of Dragon Master you will see next to your name and they they have they've got some damn good faces uh, but it's time for the real best part of this kingdom the the truly great part of this experience which and I can't stress it enough th this might be the moment I love this guy's hair. <laughs> it's time. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah.
All right, I, I might have lied. This might be my favorite capture in the game. I just don't know if I counted it because you really only use it for this. But look, look at him go. Oh. Merkava JC. Here we go. This game is awesome. What the fuck? Let's do it. Alright, that was kind of bad, but I did it. Kind of unclean, but we got it. This guy, he's having a good time. Yeah, we did it. Fuck yeah, easy money. And now that we did that, we technically have just enough moons to leave, but the whole kingdom opened up. So we really gotta check that out, right? I feel like it would be bad if we didn't. In the process of drawing a new cover for my fight stick? That's exciting! What's it gonna be though? That's the question. What are you what are you drawing? Maybe one of your OC that's that's awesome. Everyone's all excited because events might be coming back soon. I hear some people are doing locals and shit now. Now the vaccinations are all out. People are doing like Actual locals and shit where you've got to have like your vaccination card and shit, but you can totally just show up Now if that isn't super exciting, I don't know what it is for people My problem is is that I don't know about vaccine rollout where I live because I'm in Ontario which uh, means Canada. 
But they're expecting to have most people by June, so maybe by the time Climax starts, I'll be good. Oh my god, Mario is cold. I mean, I might. I might go. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. I need to have the money, the motivation. I've wanted to go to an event for a long time. I was gonna go to Michigan Masters last year. I had a hotel room booked and everything. You can even ask Polar Bear if he's still here. We, we were gonna go. I was rooming with Bear and another person and uh... Well, that didn't pan out. But it's, 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 it's in the back of my mind. Wow, let's go. Miss all of them, why don't I? Yeah, the thing is, I gotta pay for international travel and blah, blah, blah. Conversion rate. Yeah. That's the part that I don't look forward to is paying for shit. Actually going. Very possible. Just the The exchange rate. I know if you live around it though, it's probably convenient. I'm I'm guessing SFL is like I don't know where that is. I might know, but if that's around where the event is held, yeah, you have a bit of an advantage. Because I know some people that live just, like, next to events like Combo Breaker, or, like, they're, like, a drive away from it. The U.S. penis state. Great. But, like, I know people that are, like, a drive away from, uh, something like Combo Breaker... And it's like... They just drive over to like their hotel and shit. Yeah, at that point it'd be probably a pretty cheap play in, right? Cause it's only such a short flight. For me, it's like, ugh, gotta do, uh, I have to drive all the way down to an airport in the United States, if I'm flying anywhere anyways. Which isn't too bad, because I live in a border city. But then it's like, okay, I get there, then I gotta fly there, and it's, it's just a lot. It's a huge hassle for me to travel. And truthfully, if traveling internationally wasn't such an inconvenience, I'd probably be a little more motivated to go to. Because I'm just like, ugh. Airport security, and ugh, just a lot. Like, I, I tend to prefer... Climax might be the first big one. Because I haven't heard of any other ones. And the other thing is I don't know when it is either. Gotta look at like my job situation and... Whether I have more hours at work or even a different job and blah blah blah. November? Oh, that's quite a ways away. But hey, I might go. I'll be sure to let everybody know if I go. Wouldn't want to leave people in the dark. A 
Although I, I I do gotta say I'm not quite the character. Uh, well, I am I am quite a character in person, but if you're expecting like some really extravagant looking person, I look really normal, like really ordinary. For the kind of shit I say and do, I look really really standard. So you'd have to actually know where I'm at to <laughs> find me. Because, yeah, unfortunately, I do got to be responsible with me money. Which has been really easy right now, because, well, not like I can fucking go anywhere. So it's like, well... Fastest way to save on the travel that I normally spend money on is, uh... By just not being allowed to do it. And or it being a bad idea. <laughs> to be honest, that whole deal about being stuck inside is probably why. Even for the pandemic, I've worked from home. Wow, see, yeah, that... That had more of an impact on your personal life than your work life. Which is still like, what the fuck, right? Because you want to talk with people and shit. No fun being cooped up all the time. Like, I enjoy my solitary, but I do like to be able to go out, do stuff every now and then, and travel and meet up with people I've known and know. It's a bit difficult right now to do that. But, you know, it is what it is, I guess, for the time being, anyways. Oh, wait, I messed up. I wasn't using that HD rumble enough. Messed up. Hit the wrong button. There we go. Yeah! Oh, thank God that you can capture the cheap cheap here. I like that it's a different color, too. They could have just made it another red cheap cheap. But it's like purple. It's regionally colored. I don't know why they're purple. Maybe that's like the functional indication that they can resist cold water or something. But it's cool. A nice touch. Oh yeah, for sure. The water captures in this game are so good, both of them. Uh, the Gushin and the Cheap Cheap are both incredibly good. Oh! 
go. What's going on up here? Yeah, swimming normally isn't particularly great, but I feel like that was the point. That's, that's, I'll take, that's why they give you those. I might have fucked up. Okay, we're okay. Wait. Oh, those those sneaky. Very sneaky. It's like turn around. I mean, it's not like the sneakiest, but it is pretty sneaky. Yo, what if it was the other way? This game like trains you to think like that though. You just get like subliminally messaged to just do that. Because like they make sure that almost every challenge room ever has two. So you always just expect I got I should like comb this. Oh this music this music always means something good's about to happen. This music? Always. There's always a good time with this song's playing. Uh oh. What if you move the camera just a bit out of the way? Stellar maneuverability. Ooh! Wait, what does he say? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you! I am the something. I love Sonic, me too! Who doesn't? Alright, I think we're only missing a couple things. Fuck. You know, I was really hoping, in my heart, that I could capture him in that same jump. It did not work. Them in their. F Did he just blow my head away? Oh, fucking enemy! Stupid. It is really funny they brought this enemy back from Mario 3D World. I think that's where it showed up first, anyways. And we're just like, yeah, what if you could play as it?
So I gotta get the one that's up higher. I think I might have to get that one over there. But we're nearly done here. Snow Kingdom is pretty small. It's it's a little pocket of adventure. More than like and then we're moving on to Chrono Trigger. For the rest of the evening. I love that it can redirect your hat. Oh, what? Whoa, let's go! Hi, Wooded Kingdom! Well, oh, back to this place we go. Save that we have moons here. We still got a deposit. Yeah, okay, good. I am a little excited for Chrono Trigger, though, I won't lie. You know what? Look at that! Kaboom!